Hello everyone, welcome here again with another CVP build. Today I want to talk to you guys about the 12 pool proxy hatch strategy that I have um, had a great amount of success with. I heard somebody say that Ply is playing a 12 pool with a proxy hatch and I was like, well I mean if Ply plays it, it must be good, right? Because Ply, Ply the master of uh, cheese, I'm sure he found a good strategy. So I thought let's give it a shot now i have no idea how bly plays it at all i've never seen bly 12 pull proxy hatch i just thought well again let's play a 12 pool with a proxy hatch and see where it takes us so i sent my 13th drone across the map so i went 12 pool drone 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 and the second drone that i built it sent across the map then i built an overlord as soon as the pool is done six links and now here here we, here we are right so the drone arrives across the map and i'm at 245 minerals i have a couple different uh, things that i can do either i can build an eight fling and uh, or um, two more links at home right now like link number seven and eight so i have those faster across the map or i can throw down the hatchery immediately i actually had more success by throwing down the hatchery immediately and trying to block the wall off if I cannot block the wall off, I can also put, put the hatchery here. It kind of depends on the map. For example, I cannot put it here because the gas geyser blocks it. Or I can also put it here to delay him from expanding. But there are a lot of options, right? We, we have to kind of go with the flow. This game, this replay, I'm showing you guys um, this option, right? Where I put it in the wall off. So I put the second overlord gets placed in my natural in case I get can rushed and I keep building links at home. The links are getting rallied across the map. He is attacking it with uh, the hatchery with a soul probe. And he is walling off so my links cannot get in, right? We're going to see the strength of this build very soon. After I go for 10 links, I build a drone at home, rally it to my natural and start my hatchery. I could uh, start the hatchery a little bit quicker, but... As you can see, like I have a little bit of overmans, but I don't know, like it doesn't matter that much to me. So, I, I, this feels good to me, that's why I do it like that. So, for example, in this game, right, it, it, there's a lot of things that are happening. He needs to wall off, so my links don't go in because then he would lose probes or the pylon. So, he rallies the salad inside, so my links are starting to attack the gateway here. Actually, not all links, that one kind of. Is messing up attacking the wrong gateway which <clears throat> in turn that allows me to kill the first gateway because he has to deal with the proxy edge right so my links go in surround surround kill another uh, salad right here hatchery is now done we have um, an adept coming out we have a shield pedry getting ready he's starting to pull probes now it's very difficult for me to kill an adept with slow links and I have a lot of options right now. So at home, I took my gas. I usually take the gas um, once I built the hatchery and saturated my minerals. And I'm also starting to build a queen now because I have minerals for that. At the front. Now, there, you will not always be able to finish the hatchery. You don't have to finish the hatchery. If the hatchery is at like 20% health and you know it's going to die before anything gets out, just cancel the hatchery, send the drone home. Take your minerals with you. I, you killed a, I could have cancelled this hatchery and I would have been fine. I killed a gateway, I killed salads. I still have links left over. I could have just walked home. But I said I'm gonna commit. Alright, so let's see how the commitment works out. You do not have to commit. You can also... I could have just played a macro game with an advantage because... Um, I was able to do damage to him. It's very hard for him to counter. I can just run up at home. So I'm building links from this hatcher and I'm also building a queen. This The link right here is trying to to maybe kill a probe and just do a little bit of harassment. I'm aiming to kill this gateway right here, so mainly focusing on it, but he has a shield battery ready, so it's very hard. At home, I'm gonna start building drones soon. Actually, I messed up a bit and I'm starting to and I build two more links. Also mining gas. At the front, bring down a creep to more. Once I can get creep spread up, it becomes really difficult for him. My goal is to kill his gateway here, to delay him even further. So let's speed things up a bit because there's not that much happening. I then start, I'm building links, I'm building queens, I'm just slowly pushing my way inside because I already killed one of his gateways. 
it's um, hard for him to push in. Building a spine crawler is actually killing that spine crawler because I messed up. Trying to push into his natural here at home. Just throwing up queen, getting link speed, throwing up. Trying to build another spine crawler. And I know this push is gonna fail, right? The, the goal of this push is not to kill my opponent. If my opponent messes up badly, yes, I'll be able to kill him. But in most scenarios, once he has shield batteries up, I can't really do too much. As you, I mean, you're seeing it right now. I, I'm, I'm accomplishing very little here. I'm just buying time. I'm ahead. He is on one base. One base going for an all-in. Meanwhile, I have my main base. I have my natural saturated. I'm going to take a third base very quickly. Or very soon. Putting some pressure on him over here. Just buying time. While I got my roach worn up, I have enough gas to even start a lair. Third base is coming, I have links at home to deal with the adept drop. Every protoss will react differently, right? You can also start mass producing queens, you can build spore crawls if you think a stargate is coming. But I wasn't that scared of a stargate and already had queens at home anyways. Overall, I'm just in a really good position, because I'm up 10 workers. And he does have an army and it will take him a long time to even get his nat natural done. The moment he moves out, I'm trying to go in and put it on even more pressure. Which, while, while I'm preparing for his push. Ravagers are very good, they can snipe prisms. Now he has to leave units at home while uh, he's pushing out. Which he of course doesn't want, he wants these adepts with his main army. So you can see, I am setting up the final push right here. Link flank from the back, links from the front, ravages are ready as well. And this is how you end the Protoss dream. It's around from both sides, pile on the war prism. Boom, war prism is gone. Army is surrounded. And he's absolutely crushed. Behind eight workers, down 35 supply. All he can do is leave the game. So yeah. This is just one example, like every game will play out differently. Your goal is not to kill the opponent, your goal is to get a head start into the game and then you can play whatever you want. It's important that you have good macro at home, even while you're attacking him here you want to constantly produce drones. But you do have a lot of options to do damage and you can really abuse the Protoss weaknesses the, his, while he's struggling to deal with your proxy hatch, kill his gateways kill his units just try to find damage wherever you can make him invest let's say he builds a forge into cannons that's a lot of money he's using for defense but well, you can just cancel the hatchery and expand at home as if nothing happened and best case scenario he might even die because who knows maybe you overwhelm him if he didn't build the shield battery i would have easily overwhelmed him with the queen link push right so I hope you guys can get some inspiration from this build. It's a really, really, really good one. Really, really strong one. If you like the video, always glad for your feedback. And thank you all for watching. See you soon.